I admit, yo, I'll be the first. Justin, I apologize. I doubted for a split second. But you know, when this Hunter Hunter game was first shown off, and obviously extremely rough around the edge <laughs> footage, you know, 30 FPS almost at some point, the mouths don't even move. And yet, when I consider who is making the game, Aiding, of course, and I think about some of the games that I've played of theirs in the past, and I enjoyed most of them, generally they make fun games. And I was like, you know what? You can't roast this game that hard, even though it, you know, it obviously looks really rough around the edges and obviously, you know, very low budget. But I'm like, man, that game might actually be kind of fun. I apologize, bruh. I got a chance to play this shit at Evo Japan. I got to play it a lot, actually, and it is fun. It's, I'm telling you right now, it's fun. And you, may or you may have actually played this game before in another lifetime i noticed there are definitely some characters that are functions so to speak <laughs> that's definitely something i came around to it's obviously versus game inspired it has a lot of the same mechanics the only thing missing from it probably is motion inputs the way it works is of course i think this is a uh, at least a seven button game where you have basically your abc buttons and then you have nen impact and then you have the rush button and your assist buttons and another special type of button basically with various combinations of those inputs, you have access to a lot of mechanics in the game. And it pretty much worked out to where you could definitely see other characters from other games in the past <laughs> through this cast. Even just this six character caster that we had to work with at Evo Japan. And I got to tell you, man, I had fun. I think this might be actually like a fun game. You know, I don't have expectations of it having like a crazy tour or being a mainstream hit. They already confirmed no cross play. I don't expect any crazy stuff like that. I'm not even trying to like really like convince you otherwise if you think if if you're the kind of person who you, you're sticking to your guns this game looks like trash blah 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 fine what i'm telling you is i might have to boot this up just because just it's fun i found even with just a few of the characters in their toolkits you know uh kurapika definitely gave me like axel ghost rider vibes in, from from playing hisoka has this has some like, kind of spencer mechanic he puts the little gumdrop on you launches you reels you back in give it to him again i i had a lot of fun even just uh messing around with those characters but leorio and Justin put me on game with this. I, I talked to him about it before I got a chance to play it again on, I think, Saturday or Sunday. And he was like, no, bro, that's Dr. Doom. And then when he said that, I started to see the vision. So I booted up with him next time. And yeah, this character is nutty as hell, dude. He has hidden missiles. He has all the shit that you say you've been wanting. He, this game actually, uh, this game might actually have it gameplay wise. It was actually kind of fun, really refreshing. You know, playing a versus game like that, that wasn't really afraid to be that version of itself, you know? But there's definitely a lot of mechanics and shades of other games in it. So I'm just going to put up a lot of gameplay. Me and my friend Zerpin, uh, Zerp got a chance to play for an extended amount of time and we were trying some stuff out but you'll see this game not only has aspects of tvc it's like a weird amalgamation of like tvc concepts plus marvel 3 plus dbfz and a little bit of other games too it feels very familiar i think if, if you played some of those titles in the speed too it's really strange like the game i thought when i first saw it it looked very like floaty kind of like slow and floatier version of Marvel 3. And I'm like, what? It's this weird kind of Venn diagram speed-wise between TVC and Marvel 3 is the way it felt like. But if you play those games in, in Dragon Ball Fighters as well, I think this will definitely be a game that you want to have on your radar. You know, obviously, game doesn't look as tight as we want it to look right now. Hopefully, that, that's something that they can work on down the line as well as, you know, adding more features to it like crossplay in future versions or something like that. But for now, at minimum, I'm thinking, yo, this game is actually kind of fun. <laughs> this game is actually kind of fun. Might be worth just booting up just for a little while just to have fun with it even, if, if nothing else. But yeah, keep this one uh, kind of on. I'm, I'm, I can't say for you guys, right? I'm just telling you, th this channel is about how I feel now. You know, I, I gave up trying to convince people or you're going to think what you want. But for me, like I said, my thing is the way the game looks is not important for me personally. Generally, I'm not super graphic-pilled, I guess if that makes sense to me it's more important if i enjoy if the game's fun if the game has some kind of edge to it that i can get into that i can get around to that i can see myself being creative in and or you know something like that right that's the kind of stuff that i value more this game definitely feels like it could it's definitely kuso in a fun way i'll put it that way you know it's kind of funny how we went from having almost like no new versus games to now you're gonna have feels like you're gonna have the option between like two or three <laughs> all coming out at once and they're all kind of trying i think different ways to capture different feelings of fighting games too which is ultimately a good thing i do kind of lament the fact that like and i i have to wonder if on a macro level this is something that's going to be changing with fighting games is motion inputs i you know for this to be another title that kind of doesn't have them you execute specials and tags with directions and button inputs in this game it's not like emotions 
So if this is a like, are we moving towards a trend? I, I'm not a huge fan of the trend overall. I think it's kind of unnecessary. Kind of, I, I wonder kind of where we're going with this, you know? But that said, the game was pretty fun to play. I had a lot of fun matching with. I played with my friend East. Played with Zerp. And I had a good time. I can't say I, did, I can't say it wasn't fun. With that said, let me know what you guys think about it. Does this game look hot to you guys? Not in, you know, not obviously graphical, <laughs> graphical fidelity speaking wise. Uh, obviously not that way. But uh, have you seen anything about this that kind of makes you interested? Uh, for me, my squad is Hisoka, Kurapika, and Leorio. I think that's the squad I'm going in with day one. You guys have a good one, and I'll catch you guys next time. Everybody be easy. <laughs> which one is then? Well, which is the special button, right? I changed it. X is like your ass button. This is like a special button. Okay, so it's the special one. Okay, oh, so it's these two. Yeah, yeah. S and special. Okay. Yeah. 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 Specials are all on. Yeah. Arts. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Arts. One of the one of those buttons. Yeah. I think you get more out of arts than that. Okay. You're right. Armor. Yeah. They are.
going. Keep going. Ah. Keep it on. Keep going. Oh shit. Oh, I gotta give him all the hell too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, 
It don't look that bad. It's pretty good. you want to play on your laptop. Huh? Is that why you want to play on your laptop? Well, I can't play this on my laptop. I mean, in other games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, like, that's why I play on keyboard in general, because it's, like, way easier. Yeah. But on the stick, I end up just, like, fucking pushing you through the buttons.
Started. 